Okay, so what's going guys? Me Guyver and welcome to another Tech Cool video. And before I forget, I want to say this video is sponsored by Telsin Philippines. Now let's give them a round of applause for sponsoring me and this video, of course for trusting me. So once again Telsin, thank you so much. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at their newest product which is the Telsin Smart Tracking Device 360 Pan Tilt yada yada with their, you know, um, what they call this? Device code. But yeah, it's basically a smart tracking object that is used together with your mobile phone or Go. Pro or maybe some other cameras itself. Now there won't be any unboxing because I don't feel like it but of course I'm going to show you what are the things that came with the box. We have our USB Type-C connector that will be used for charging the device and connecting the device to your computer because it is also being endorsed as a webcam. Pretty neat huh? Also, we have our little tiny controller that is being powered by a button cell. Now, if you don't know what a button cell is, this is what button cell looks like. And last but not the least is the device itself. At the back of the device is where the power button is located and so the charging port for your USB Type-C connector. In front, we have our 1 4 inch screw head and the camera which is responsible for tracking is somewhat in the middle and at the very bottom would be the rotating mechanism that is responsible for panning the device to the left or to the right. And also there's a hidden 1 4 inch screw at the bottom for you to be able to mount it to your mini tripod or tripod or light stand that has the same screw. So it's like right here. Now before we proceed to the features, controls, and actual tests of this device, make sure that you have clicked the subscribe button and punch the notification bell icon many times so you'll be notified every time if I'm going to release a video. And also there is a thumbs up button which is like. So if you click that, YouTube will say that hey this video is actually loved by many which are you guys. So thank you so much for liking it. Now that it is out of the way, let's proceed with the remote control. Now at the upper right corner is where your on and off button is located. So in case you try to use it as soon as you pull it out of the box, it won't do anything because it's on the off which is kind of neat unlike other remote controls that when you turn on the device they magically just works. Also if you want the device to pan to the left or to the right, we have the control at the middle. Now if you're wondering what the up and down button is used for, well it is used for the full 360 rotation of the device. Now you have the option for the clockwise or counterclockwise rotation based on the up and down button. Now what is the button at the middle? Well it is used to stop the full 360 rotation of the device. Now the button at the bottom of the remote, this is the button that is responsible for activating the smart tracking feature of this device. And also if you hold it for like 2 to 3 seconds, you will be activating the time lapse feature. Now, if you don't know what the time lapse feature is, Google it. And now, this is the moment that you guys are waiting for it would be the actual testing of this device. Please do take note that I use this device together with an iPhone 12 Pro because, as I said, this device is to be partnered with a GoPro mobile phone, etc. Let's start first with the smart tracking feature on. You will notice that it is not as smooth as what you expect because there's a little bit of lag in between of my movements. But the tracking itself is pretty spot on because you will notice here that it doesn't have any hard time actually tracking me and I did test it in a low light situation and voila! Well, you will notice in the video that it was still able to track me even though we have a little bit of light shining through the lens or sensor of this device. Now turning the smart tracking feature off and panning the device manually using the remote control, it is as smooth as what you'll be expecting when you try to do it manually. But one thing that I noticed is that as I used the control to move the device to the same direction that I'm heading to, you can see that the device is quite fast and the pace that I'm in. There are also a time where I need to double my pace just to match the speed of the device. But overall, it is quite a smooth experience. Now for the 360 full rotation, well, it is a self-explanatory. The device will make a full 360 degrees rotation from the point where you activate it. And pretty much that's everything. Well, for the time lapse, it's a self explanatory thing, so I'm not going to do that test because it's a time lapse. You already know what, what time lapse do. Now, for an exciting part of this test, this device is actually rated to be able to carry a mobile phone, a GoPro, or even a DJI Pocket kind of camera. But will this device be able to carry a mirrorless or DSLR? Hmm, that's quite something, huh? So I did my test first with the mobile phone.
Next would be the DJI and as you can see, the device was able to carry it no problem. But as soon as I mount my mirrorless camera with a 30mm lens, oh boy oh boy, this is the result. As you can see, it is quite okay when just panning to the left or to the right. But as, as soon as I use the full 360 rotation feature, <laughs> well, it fell down. Good news is the camera is unharmed, the lens is okay, and overall it's still working. And that's the one I'm using right now, which is my mirrorless. So yeah, overall, good test. So yeah. Now we are at the last feature of this device would be to be used as a webcam. So to be honest, trade answer, no. Because as you can see on this sample, the image quality is not that great, but it's still an HD. The colors are a little bit, you know, on the such so saturated part that I will not be even recommending it. But then again, if you want to use it, you can, but I won't recommend. Conclusion time. To be honest, I really love this product because for its price, it offers a lot of features. Smart tracking, smooth panning manually, and as an alternative webcam. And it can carry pretty much every small camera device aside from mirrorless or DSLRs. One of the drawbacks that I can see on this device is it doesn't have any speed control or speed option. So why did I mention about the speed option? As you can see earlier, the device is quite fast when operating manually and having a slow pace of the movement and the person who is using it if he wants to match the speed of the camera he really need to double the pace so having an option to reduce the speed might result to a much better user experience and it might also resolve the the processing time with the smart tracking feature so it can remove the jitter so yeah so i think that's the only drawback that i could think of so i think that's it that's everything you need to know to get up to speed with the telsin smart tracking device so have you guys enjoyed this video because i did anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this video if you do press thumbs up and consider sub subscribing for more videos like this and make sure you click the thumbs up button and once again thank you thousand philippines for sponsoring this video so anyway guys this is guyver signing out peace